Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. I'm an artist from Topsail Island, North Carolina, and we're going to do a mini lesson on using palette knives to paint with today. A lot of people use brushes, and I use brushes for years and years, but I've started messing around with a palette knife. They were traditionally used to mix your paint on the palette, scrape paint, clean your palette and stuff, but people started painting with them, and you can do some really, really nice paintings with them. Now, I'm starting with a block-in painting, one that I've blocked in. It has the basic abstract shape of the scene that I'm looking at. See the sky and the bottoms of the trees, the tree trunks. It's a marsh scene, so this is water in the back, a shadow going across here, and a, and a road. There was a road right there. So what I'm going to do now is, now that the block end's done, I'm going to start to use the palette knife to paint and to tweak these shapes and trick these shapes out to make them more and more realistic to finish my painting. Let's start with the sky. What do we need to do with the sky is we need to mix up some white and some cerulean blue and just take it and mix it back and forth and you don't have to mix it and get it all the same color. See how it's marbleized? That is really what's neat about palette knife painting is you get that marbleized effect that you can't get when you apply it with a brush. And you can put it on really quick. Watch how you can do this. Now you want to work with knives that are as big as the shapes that you're working in. So watch how I use a knife so big for this shape right here to hurry up and lay it in. I'm just laying it in. Use your fingertips. You have much more dexterity in your fingertips than if you grab it and use it like a trowel. So you come in there and grab up lots of paint, figure out what your shape is, you set the brush or you set the palette knife right down on the edge and work it this way and stop. Then you can come back, pick up a little bit of the paint and work this edge and stop and then go back down just like you would a brush except for you using a knife. And you fill in the shape. Now you don't go right up to the other shape, you leave a little space. Because as you're working on the painting, you can bring each edge out into the other edge. But if you start working it right up to the edge now, you'll smear your color and you'll have dull color and it'll smear and get gray on you. And you don't want that to happen. You want nice, clean color. That's what's so nice about palette knives is they give you good, clean color. Because if you ever notice when you paint with a brush, when you swab it around in here, try to get all the paint out of the brush, it mixes and gets muddy and that uh, thinner runs down into your paint where you don't have that with a palette knife. When you're painting with a palette knife, it is straight, pure color. And that's what I love about palette knife painting is that it's very direct, it's very clear, and the color is beautiful. And see how you get that marbleized effect? It's really, really neat. So I'm not going to go the whole way across the sky. You get the idea right there. Now look how thick some of this is. And I haven't even begun to get thick. I'm going to put it on really thick with that painting butter later on in the painting. But I just want to get my blue sky a little bit bluer than it was. Now look how, look how nice that looks. I'll come in there and smooth it out just a little because I don't want too much texture in it right now. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make the land mass in the back. Now I'm going to take the green. I'm using sap green. I'm going to add just a little bit of red to dull it down some. Because land masses, I'm using this painting since I'm not outside, I'm using this painting as a reference, but land masses in the back get grayer, the green gets grayer and lighter as it goes further back because there's atmosphere in between you and the land mass. And I'm putting that in and I'm just mimicking the shape of the block in. Look at that. It's greener, isn't it? It's greener than it was. I lightened it and I greened it at the same time from my block in. And it really looks realistic for right now. Now you'll go through several passes and tweak and get every color and shape the right color. Now see what I mean about not going right up to the shape? I'm not going right up to the tree yet. I'm just trying to lay in some shapes. And that's all painting is, is putting the right color in the right place. If you put the right color in the right place, it'll look like something when you get finished. All right. Now, when I come in and put the water in there, 
you'll be able to tell that this is a water scene. And what I'm doing is I'm using the um, ultramarine blue now. I'm lightening it a little bit. And see, I'm going to leave it marbleized. I love that marbleized effect. Now, I'm take a little bit of this. It's actually cadmium yellow, dark, but it looks like orange. And I'm going to dull that blue down just a little bit. Because that water that day was very, very dull. It was not a real brilliant blue. So I'm dulling it down. And it's important to get the water right. If the water and the sky are right, you can just about fake everything else. Now look how I'm just laying that in. See how I have to turn my, my knife in different directions to get it to do what I want. Then I can just pull it straight down. Once I got some color in there, I really refer the, to this as like frosting a cake. Okay. Now look, and at, see what the neat thing about palette knife is, is as you're, as you're doing this and you're making mixes here, the mixes are different. Notice how it's darker on this end as it goes this way. That's really neat. I like that because actually in reality that's the way it was. The water was darker because the light source was, was overhead. So as it went away, it got darker. So I'm just going to put a few more little shapes in there so you can see what it is. Now let, let's do the, the grass real quick before we stop. And all that is is a sap green with some blue and some red in it. Okay, and I'm going to lay that in real quick. And all I'm trying to do is just lay it, match my, match my uh, underpainting. And believe it or not, once you get used to using a palette knife, it really is no harder at all than using a brush. It's all whatever you get used to. Actually, it's harder for, harder for me now to paint with a brush because I've been palette knife painting for so long that it's harder for me to brush paint. But now watch how that looks when I mix my yellow, which is cadmium medium. I'm going to mix some green. and I'm going to keep it very light and very warm. I'm just going to put some right next to that so you can see what it looked like. It's going to look like grass. Look how that looks like lit up grass. What you want to do is you want to stay out. You don't want to get any of this green into that because then you'll dull it out. See what happened right there? That's not what you want. And then you can just scrape it if you don't like it. But look how that looks like the grass, like green lit up grass. And I'll do a little bit on this side so you can see what that's going to look like. And look how quickly I blocked that. I've got that, all that color on there in just a few minutes. When you're outside painting, that's what you need. You need to get it on quick because things are moving very quickly outside. And there's the grass very quickly. And as you can see, I'm just all I'm doing is just playing with the shapes. But see how it's starting to take shape now? And as I keep going and tweaking, I tweak the trees. I keep tweaking this. I would probably put a little, little more green and red in that just to kind of dull it out just a little bit. It's a little bit too. It's it's a little bit too bright. So I would go in and see how I'm just kind of tweaking it now. I'm just go in and start mixing right on top of it and all that texture. Now, I would right now, I would add the painting butter, which is right here, and you can really double your volume and just scoop it up and just get lots of this texture right here. And you can build it up big and thick, and this will keep it from shrinking and cracking, which would be a big problem if I just took that much paint and put it down and let it dry, it would crack and shrink. And we don't want that to happen, so that's what the painting butter is good for. And you can get lots of neat texture on this. I'm Mike Rooney. I hope you've enjoyed this mini lesson on knife painting. If you'd like to see more, check out my DVD, Painting with Knives.